This patient is presented with an intermittent swelling of her uh, below knee, mainly as a result of having a grafting, uh, venous grafting on her leg. In order to prevent that, uh, a compression garment below knee is the uh, treatment of choice. To get a perfect garment fit, we need to take two measurements, one around the ankle, just above the ankle bone, and one the widest part of the calf. We then take a length measurement, which will give a perfect fitting garment. Around the ankle, the tape is around, no pulling, just laying the tape down, and we've got 21.5 centimetres. That is the B measurement. We then go towards the calf, that is part of the calf. Again, the application pressure, no pulling on the tape whatsoever, is 36.5 centimetres. The length of the garment is from the base of the foot to two finger widths below patella. In this case, is 43 centimetres. By using these measurements into the uh, corporate measurement uh, manufactured books, we'll be able to determine the correct size of the garment required. Using my little graph, I've plotted the ankle measurement, the calf measurement, and the length of the leg from the base of the foot to just below the knee. Those measurements can then be plotted into the product guides. And here you can see that my ankle measurement fits nicely into a size four. The calf measurement too, luckily fits into the same line. So I'm absolutely certain that compression class one garment, size four, regular length, because it's 40 centimeters, which fits nicely into that grid there, is going to fit this particular patient. We then have to choose the garment that we want. And again, using the, uh, the products on the formulary I'm using at the moment, I can translate that into the product code or PIP code if you still use them. Going to the product guide, I can then find the correct product code for that particular patient. It's a knee high. It's a compression class one. I'm wanting a closed toe. It's a regular length. And going down to size four, I can see the product code that I actually require. That then is put onto the prescription with the description of the actual garment that we're using. And that will hopefully get us the correct garment for that particular patient. Not forgetting, of course, to request an applicator should that patient require it. We would then make an appointment to go over the fitment of the garments to ensure she's able to apply them and remove them 